so I really need to do some editing. But we're going to have a look at the first room, because there's some nice theming. Final room. So, <laughs> great name for the. Uh, hey guys, this is a kid's game. Pissing it away. Rocket. Night fight. Pack attack. Spaced out. So we've got two space themed levels, two jetpack levels, and one of those. Remember, I say at the end of the. Um, at the end of the Crash 2 and 3, they have a, here's an old tile set, but it's dark and now you have a bug. Yeah, it's that one. So this is like Turtle Woods, but at night. And the other two are literally like... Okay, we're going to show the jetpack one, and we'll show Piston it away if I can get through them. I've got no lives, as we saw from the last one, because I just... I clutched it out on the engine fight there doing it all in like basically one attempt. I used to like this tile set. The theming is pretty nice. It reminded me of Heavy Machinery, but just a little bit change. Yeah, I thought these would still slide. Lower to the ground than I remember. It has some interesting stuff where you get shrunk. And uh, the shrink, yeah, the shrink rays, and there's like a lot of these weird, like, mechano creepy monster things that look very Cthulhu esque. Very weird. You notice as well on Crash One, on Crash One, a lot of the enemies you can just spin or you can hit both ways basically and both would work and then they suddenly in Crash 2 went hey, some of these you've got to slide some of these you've got to jump only, some of these you've got to spin and they got really like schmancy fancy with this and look, here's a one that starts to show you they can change their tentacles look as if they weren't weird enough work out. I don't even know what these things are supposed to be, but they look kind of creeps. set dressing and just random lighting effects. Um, oh no, Deathroot. I'm too much of a baby. Okay. Okay. Sure. Well, I can't do the death route now. This is where the shrink rays come in. And it gets real weird real quick. Because you're not supposed to let them shrink you, but then there's certain times when you do let them... Oh, I, I can't remember. Maybe there's not a time when you let them shrink you. Oh. Okay. That was me, that was my B. Now, I basically did from warp room two to the final warp room in one session. So I'm not gonna be doing this full warp room in a single session, because I did that last time for the fourth warp room. Third, fourth, this is quite a short game, right? 
Is it me? Wait, let me have a thing. Wait, what does it want from me here? Yeah, it looks like I can't even... Oh, it's just it that's in the foreground, okay. Oh, I'm glad the game bugged out. A lot more buggy than I remember. Maybe I'm just nostalgic. I don't know what that is. <coughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about these guys. Shoving guys. They preview the rest of the level, or some of the level for you, so you can see how fucked you are. Remember when you had to knock those guys back in the lab? Now they can knock you back. Kind of a mix between them and the natives that used to use their shields to deflect you. Stand by pits then. I mean, why even are there pits? So, yeah, you know, because it's the first of the new, like, theming. Look, here's what it's about, and some mild peril. Now, I expect the next one to be literal hell. Or one of the rings thereof. And I'm going to show why. I don't like Crash 2, which is literally one of the things they put on the box. Look, you can use a jetpack. Used to pick it up. I'm just naming all the changes, so it used to be like all the face buttons because, you know, early era PlayStation. How do I go? There you go. It. It, it's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible to control because up is up instead of forward. R2 is forward, but he's also kind of going up and down of his own accord when I... And it's like, oh... It's just... Oh, yeah, no, you can see I'm having trouble. So what if I told you the final boss was a race using this shit? Yeah. And that's why I hate Crash 2. Because my final memory is always, oh yeah, using this horribly inaccurate, very floaty, random new fucking control set that you've just been introduced to for the very first time in this warp room. Oh yeah, sure, make that the final boss. So that my final memory of Crash 2 is always finicky, awful fucking controls that, like, I've had, you know, I spent the whole game platforming. Here's a vehicle section, and it's the worst handling vehicle section in all of the first three Crash games. Don't fucking at me. I'm right. Oh yeah, because Baby T and the, the Skidoo and the motorcycle they all handle like shit, right? In comparison to this. And that's why Crash 2 really, like, it starts off so strong. That's the thing, right? It starts off pretty strong. It feels like, oh yeah, you know, this is, I can see why people like this version. Why people like Crash 2. Then the penultimate and ultimate warp rooms just make you go, fuck this game. Because this, this shit right here, up, up, you fuck, up. It, mm, it's still not really, but I'm just trying to get a fucking box, man. Not get murdered. No. Left, left down. And look, he's so fucking happy about it as always like, they clearly wanted it to make out like, look, this will be the best part of the game and it's the worst of all three. And I'm sad that they still managed to make it shitty. 
Yeah, because everyone wanted that back, you know. You can float into basically everything and it will insta-kill you. Yay! That's what I fucking wanted! I bet you if I touch this TNT as well, it will fucking wreck me. Wait. So also the face buttons still do what they used to do, just to further confuse you. So you've got two ways to go forward, two ways to go backward. You know, it wasn't bad enough as is. We're just gonna go down, down! Feels like the controls should be inverted, and they aren't. Oh yeah, we'll reintroduce you to the worst enemies of the first game, but now they have fucking jetpacks. And they, they kind of pull on this shit. I hope you like floating, constantly moving off screen fucking hazards. Again, the camera's in too tight as well. The camera's in too tight for you to be able to see what the shit's going on and why it's trying to kill you. This is just, this is just, if you want to know what an anxiety dream of mine would look like, this is it. Except I'm Crash and I will die if I get hit once. Okay, wait, that was up. Oh, I'm clipping through Wumper Fruits. Clearing the way. Shame you can't just break through everything, because this is horrible. That's a checkpoint, I can't ignore it. Please give me. There you go. Yes, let's give him a flashlight, because you know what will make this easier? Giving Crash a tiny first person indie survival horror flashlight. Or not survival horror, YouTube horror. Uh, if it was just, you know, you're always holding forward, like a spiral flight level. Oh, I need that. Oh, you motherfucker, look at this. Well, I can't. I'm not doing this again, so. He flew by it, because there's just so much shit on screen. Explosives. Oh, yeah. This is this is it, everyone. This is this is the this is like my personal nightmare. This is what I don't like about Crash Bandicoot. This is like the main thing. Hey, is this thing that you're just getting used to hard too hard? Let's just make it a little harder and put floating explosives around another enemy who is unpredictable and very difficult to understand and you can't see the electrics very easily. Oh, please. I don't like this. Can you tell? I was bitching about it the whole... Um... I feel like a trigger didn't happen. Am I supposed to land? How do I land? <laughs> so those dreams you have where you're skydiving and then some guy says to you, Hey man, I got something to tell you. And you're like, wow, we're going to make you skydive over open ocean then take 15 minutes to reach you. And it's like, but I have a crippling fear of being left floating in the ocean. Oh, well, you'll deal with it. Also, there's been reports of shark attacks, which is a dream I had recently. And it made me go, I'm not dealing with that shit, especially when people are ignoring me in my dream. I'm like, no, I'll be fine. We'll just do it. It's like, no, we, we're not doing that. No, 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 we're going to do that. It'll be fine. It's like, no, what are you worried about? Don't worry. Nothing ever happens normally. It's like, oh, I fucking hate you. I hate you, dream skydiving instructor. It's like that. I'm going to have a dream tonight, and it's going to be, oh, yay. 
did you know jetpacking is the worst when it controls like fucking garbage and floats around like crazy and yeah it's anti-gravity and everything's floating around it's a nice idea and it's a nice theme however you don't need to represent that by making it handle like total ass the whole time and it also have a hundred hot pipes on every fucking surface you didn't need to do that oh look these guys make a return I forgot about them Hello, friends. You, may, you remind me of the game I prefer. When will you be back? Oh, fuck you then. Glad to see that you miss me too. Glad to see they're back. I like these guys. They have so much character. Even though they're literally just a floating spiky death ball with a little periscope. Oh. Well, we managed to get from Engine Boss on zero lives all the way to here with only the lives we gained in levels, so, you know, that's not bad. I said I was going to stop. I'm actually getting through these levels faster than I was. <laughs> this is level three, right? But that, you know, the last two are just hell, so I'm going to leave that for myself later because I've got a lot of editing to do in like half. And I still haven't edited videos from like two weeks, three weeks ago. Oh, okay. Fuck you too, Mousy. Why isn't wildlife my friend in this? I'm getting very mixed messages from this game. Like I said. We're running out of ideas for the last warp room. We've got two types of level. Okay, we need another level. Ooh. Okie dokie. What will we do? I know, just take the first level and make it dark. Then in the third game. Just take the Egypt level that everyone liked and make it dark. And you're like, oh, is that it? I say, is that it? Like, you know, this is easy, but it's like, it's pretty. It's an interesting new concept for the, uh, to... Oh. I'm dead. What if you died in the real world, and then you just appeared next to a, like... Oh, I need that. that was a, that's a really weird hitbox. Uh... What if you died in the real world and you just reappeared next to a green platform with a yellow, um, what am I saying here? Oh. Oh. <clears throat> with a yellow question mark on it. And then it was like, do you want to stand on the yellow question mark platform again? And you're like, wait, what the fuck? Like those memes where people are like, what if you die and then a screen appears and it says you can now play as Luigi? It's the same thing. What if you die and it just drops one of... There's a crazy googly-eyed version of your face in the corner and it drops down by one number and there's like a hundred lives there and you're like, wait, what? <laughs> like, how do I replenish those? Oh. I'm glad I could see that. I know that's the point, but like, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do this bonus round. So we're just going to instantly murder ourselves on something else instead, just for variety, you know, content. Oh, there it is. I wonder if those flying hawks come back in a big way for this. I think they do. Oh no, they don't. I was wrong. Yeah, we lose. I really need to stop because the next is just going to kill me. And maybe we need to wake up inside. I can't wake up. These last two levels may be some of my least favorite levels in the entirety of Crash Bandicoot. This one, and this one. 
So see you next time when I've uploaded basically all of these and have nothing left. And I'm like, shit, I need to do this one, this one on the Cortex boss. And I hate all of those levels. Yeah, anyway. Like, I haven't already got like eight other fucking videos to edit, Jesus. Time for video editing. Ugh. Do I have anything, any funny crash to go out on? Um. Yeah. There's a lot of manga out there for Crash Bandicoot, and some of it, like, canonically says things like Torna runs away with Pinstripe, which is never mentioned again in the games which are Western developed, because the Japanese just thought, this will be funny, and then didn't really update or, like, the studios running the Crash IP at the time Naughty Dog were like, yeah, we don't want to make that canon, so we're going to ignore it, so Penta Penguins kind of only available in a kart racer and it's kind of pseudo in the background and then like the whole Torna shit's ignored except for one GBA thing and it's just like really weird that's not a really fun fact hmm. I have nothing no other fun facts the Crash Law is weird and is very unfleshed out and it feels like because it, you know, it's an IP that was left dead, and then a lot of the stuff that came in the PS2 era is really uncanon now. So it's kind of like. Anyway, hands up. Who's ready for Crash 4? This channel. Yeah, let him do the dance. Commencing the dance of joy. Whatever, I'm fucking done by.